ho, ho. The livery for Olivia's romantic home. Thank you so much, Santa. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Oh my goodness, can you guys even believe this? Santa Claus stopped by my crafting studio to deliver some Dollar Tree goodies for us to craft with. So in today's video, I have a huge, amazing Dollar Tree Christmas haul. Dollar Tree is putting out so many fun crafting goodies and Christmas decor goodies. I had to grab some to share with you guys, as well as I'm going to do a Dollar Tree um, Christmas ornament kind of crafting goodies giveaway in this video as well as you guys we hit 200k and so a couple of months ago I was like when we hit 200k I'm doing a Cricut plus 200k shopping spray giveaway so I'm gonna give that away on this video as well as I'm gonna fill a box with Dollar Tree fun crafting goodies so definitely comment down below subscribe to this YouTube channel we have a ton of giveaways going on for this month and next month and just this whole holiday season can you guys tell I'm in the mood for a party and a giveaway and I just want to you guys so much and thank you guys so much for being here i had no idea that so many people were going to just love to crazy a craft like me so go ahead and grab a cup of coffee hot cocoa lemonade soda pop water whatever you guys love to drink kick back because they have put out some amazing ornaments and fun crafting goodies. We are going to go all out for the holiday season. I'm going to bring you guys so much holiday cheer and joy, and we are just going to make our homes sparkle and shine on a budget. Let's go ahead and jump into it, you guys. Okay, you guys, so the first amazing ornament that Dollar Tree has put out that I had to pick up some for me and some for you are these adorable little Merry Christmas bells. Okay, so they have the Buffalo Check plaid, which is super hot. It's the red and black plaid, actually, that's going to be a killer this year. Okay, so this is the backdrop of the ornament. It's a fabric um, backdrop. And then they did this really nice galvanized lettering. They popped the little greenery at the top and then they swirled in kind of some of the little uh, berries and the pine cone picks. Now, there are some little gluey spots that you're going to have to pick out. You also may want to go in, if you're a crafter like me, I'm going to probably pop in some more little berries and just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, which I think a lot of the Dollar Tree ornaments really do need some judging. They came in this size ornament as well as this size. So I picked up a set for me and also a set for one of you guys out there. I wish I could give away a box of all of these to all of you guys, but I cannot, but I'm going to go ahead and pop these into the box to give away to one of you guys. So super fun and fabulous. Check these out. Now the next awesome find that I couldn't resist are the super adorable little hats. Okay. These are so fun and fabulous. Check it out. This is kind of like that tartan plaid, which you guys know that I have been digging on the McKinsey Child's tartan plaid. So these are perfect, which I believe they had the tartan plaid last year. So not super new, but I know this Buffalo Check plaid, I'm pretty sure is new. They also had this in the red and black. So, but also kind of check for gluey spots on these. These two are fine. So I'm gonna be putting these into my giveaway box for one of you all. Um, and then they also had these in the red and black. They're going fast so keep your eyes out for them. super adorable they're gonna be great for Christmas crafting <laughs> I also have to share with you guys that the peace ornament came in this buffalo check plaid so Dollar Tree is finally catching on that we are obsessed with buffalo check plaid and they came out with a buffalo check plaid in the peace ornament so if you guys saw my Christmas tree from last year you would have noticed that I combined actually the red and black buffalo check plaid with the white and black buffalo check plaid so in case you guys are doing that I'm going to pop this one in to the giveaway basket as well. Now, the next thing that I was super shocked to see were these absolutely beautiful sweater ornaments. How gorgeous are these? Come on, you guys, tell me these are not absolutely beautiful. Okay, these look like something that you're going to see at kind of like an anthropology or a pottery barn. Now, I will tell you that there are a little bit of kind of some looseness about some of them. But if you're a crafter like me and you've got a glue gun, I'm just gonna go back in and give them a little bit of a repair. I think these are beautiful. You know that these would be about four to five dollars anywhere else. So grab these if you see them. These are gonna be a great textural element when you're decorating for the holidays. You wanna add texture. You're gonna wanna add the softness. You're gonna wanna add the sparkle and the glitz. But these textural elements just give your tree that extra bit of coziness, which I 
feel like this year I'm going for home for the holidays. My son and his girlfriend and my kiddos are going to be home for the holidays. So I want things to feel cozy, but also, also glitzy and fun. So these are going to be some of my cozy vibe elements, and these are going to be going into my crafting giveaway box. <laughs> Another thing that I think is super adorable is the little Dollar Tree gnome. Oh my goodness. So for a dollar, you guys know that this is such a home run. How adorable is this little guy? He is so cute. I really feel like this is such a home run for a dollar. I feel like this would be at least like seven or eight dollars at TJ Maxx. He's got the cute little adorable hat. He definitely brings in that comfort fuzzy factor. And especially if you're decorating with gnomes, um, I even think you could zhuzh him up even a little bit more. He could go into a village. He could obviously be popped onto your tree. I think it'd even be cute to add this to the top of a stocking. I could see him like going across a mantle. I don't know. I just always have so many crazy ideas, but grab these if you see them. <laughs> Now, speaking of your glitz, sparkle, and shine, check out these little beauties. So fun and fabulous. I picked up one in the little um, snowman glove. They do have um, kind of, it feels like maybe a foam underneath. And then the super adorable um, stocking. So again, you guys can really jazz these up with some ribbons and some of those bling jewels. I get them off totallydazzle.com. I'll link the little um, website down below but these are fun and fabulous again mix these in with some of your cozy elements just to give it that sparkle element they are a little bit much and I know some of you these might be too much for but for me I love to add in that element of some sparkle and shine and these again are going to be popped into my giveaway box <laughs> next thing that was new ornament wise that I thought was super adorable and really pretty cute and high end for Dollar Tree were these super cute little buffalo check plaid snowman and a Santa Claus ornaments. How cute with the little buffalo check plaid hat. And then again, the snowman. They have a really adorable little felt detail and then the berries at the top. And again, you guys could do some zhuzhing very easily. If you guys go on the Pottery Barn website, you're going to see a lot of this pattern. This buffalo check plaid, kind of rustic. I feel like the reason that they're using a lot of this is because it's going to be a country vibe. It's going to be a home for the holidays vibe. I feel like everything that everybody's gone through this year, everybody wants to have that coziness, that hug of their heart, that feeling of mom and that down to earth, just kind of country vibe. And so anyway, I'm popping these in to my giveaway box. These are super cute, a little Santa and a little snowman. I think these are so fun and fabulous. And here they go. <laughs> Another super cute goodie that is back that I could not resist grabbing a couple of is the little Dollar Tree Little Red Tree. Okay, this little red truck is so cute. I just used the heck of it last year and it's so great because you can take this apart and use the little red truck in one part of the DIY, use the Merry Christmas in another part. You can paint the truck and make it any color you want. The little red truck is not going anywhere. So grab this one if you see it. I'm also gonna pop this into my giveaway basket. Now, another cute little ornament that was new to my store was this darling little tin candy cane. I have really been loving the candy cane look, hence kind of some of the decor that's going on in the background of my Christmas crafting studio. I have yet to decide if I want to do the candy cane theme on this tree in my Christmas crafting studio, but I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these. This is going to be popped into my giveaway box. I also want to say that they had another tinsel ornament. I cannot remember for the life of me which one it was, but I believe these might be new to Dollar Tree. As always, you guys can remove the tinsel part um, I believe off of these now don't quote me on that but usually you can remove them and then put something else on or if you just like the tinsel the tinsel I think will hold up a little bit better outside so keep that in mind if you are decorating for your outside Christmas decor <laughs> another thing that's really nice is this super adorable tartan ornament that comes with a snowflake and the darling little deer and then the super adorable Christmas tree. So I think these are really, really cute. Now, the only thing about this ornament is I don't feel like they're as high quality um, quite as the other ones. They are a cardboard. So the first ornaments that I shared with the Buffalo Check Plaid had more of like the hard cardboard, but this tartan is super hot on the Mackenzie Childs website. If you guys are following some 
of my Mackenzie Childs DIYs. And I also do like that this is like a metal. Um, so that's really nice. So it's really a cute kind of trendy ornament. They seem fairly well made with their larger, nicer piece of greenery at the top. And then again, they do come with, these are kind of like more of like a rustic, you know, with a little tree and then the deer and then the snowflake. Again, I'm popping these into that giveaway box. Now, a really wonderful goodie that you guys really need to look for this year are the Dollar Tree poinsettia clips. This is one of my secret weapons for making a Christmas tree look really high end. These, this is the first time I have seen Dollar Tree put out this particular clip. Maybe they put these out last year and I didn't notice them. Usually I buy my clips at Walmart because I feel like they look a lot nicer and Walmarts are a dollar, but I think Walmart may have went up to $1.97 on theirs, but Dollar Tree has these in a champagne color and then this white color. Now the white color to me looks a little bit yellowed. So I kind of skipped getting a bunch of these. I did think I picked up a couple just in case I share with you guys, you know, a cream colored pink Christmas, which I will do some of those. Um, but I picked up the majority of mine in the silver. For some reason, this was just the one to me that looked the best. It had the most sparkle. It was the fullest of the clips. And so, you know, you can take ribbon and zhuzh some ribbon into this to fill this out, but these look really gorgeous in your tree. In fact, I'm just going to pop this off and just kind of share with you guys how this is going to look. See how beautiful that is going to look. It may be kind of hard to see on camera, but that's just going to fill that out and it's going to just give it that textural element of some sparkle and shine. So I really feel like Dollar Tree did a nice job of these and see they're almost as big as my hand. So check that out if you guys like to add that element of sparkle and shine. And if you're going for that beautiful shabby chic Christmas or you love kind of that champagne color, there's not a whole lot of difference between these, but you can kind of see that this is going to be more of a goldish champagne color. Now the next thing that Dollar Tree puts out that's super adorable that you want to keep your eye out for are their two-pack ornaments. I picked these up last year, but I have to share them again just because I think, think they're really great to set into your little villages. These campers are really detailed. They're super cute and they're way more expensive at your little crafting stores. And again, keep in mind if you guys like to do Christmas villages, how cute are these? They're really detailed. They're nicely made and you get two of them, which I think is a really good deal. They're 50 cents each basically. Another one that I think is nice are their little houses. How adorable are these? I want to say that these are made in another color, but my my um, Dollar Tree was sold out of those. So let me know down below if you guys are finding these in a different one. But again, I like to make like little mini arrangements of things, especially at like my ent entryway table. Um, and I also think you can pop these into jars and make like little mini scenes. I have this little small obsession with little things. I don't know if you guys even notice when I talk. I always call things little. I get it from my mom. Hi, mom. I love you. Um, but anyway, so check out their little two packs. You get two for a dollar. And especially if you're doing crafting, I've been trying to give you guys diff different like little craft selling tips. So if you're doing crafting and you're trying to sell things, when you do get things two for a dollar, that's just minimizing your cost and giving you a little bit more bang for your buck. So that's my little tip from me to you. <laughs> Okay, another little craft goodie that is great to pick up at Dollar Tree are their mini elf legs. So last year I shared with you guys an elf Christmas tree. I only picked up two sets of these. So I am going to pop a set of these into the giveaway. How about I give you guys the red elf legs? I think actually they're a little bit cuter. I may pop into Dollar Tree and grab another set just so I have two options to choose from. I'm making sure these are in good shape. Sometimes Dollar Tree, I'm telling you, they're not the best of shape sometimes but these look good to me so I'm going to pop these into the giveaway basket and anyway um, you guys can make these a little bit stiffer by running um, a dowel through them um, which I may share with you guys how to do but these are really a great to use especially if you're doing any kind of little mini um, elf wreaths or Christmas trees or any of that good stuff um, but elf fun and fabulous for only a dollar these are going to be way more at the craft store trust me <laughs> another thing that's great that Dollar Tree is putting out is this really amazing um, deer ornament it has the little um, wreath around it. I thought this was really nice. Now I remember that they did a lot of 
of these last year. So I remember picking up a bunch of these last year. I'm waiting for Mr. Romantic to get all of my Christmas goodies down. They're all still in the attic packed away, but I did pick one of these up and I'm gonna pop this in to my Christmas giveaway basket for one of you guys. Another thing I always pick up are the Dollar Tree churches. Okay, these make really great DIY things. They're also really nice to pop onto your Christmas tree. They come with the little um, zhuzh at the top with the berries and the sparkly, um, or it's actually really not sparkly, it's just the berries and the little um, bell here, but it's very a sparkly church with the gold and then the white. I think I'm going to pop the white in to my Christmas giveaway basket. On I'll just keep the gold because the gold is very sparkly and sheds a lot and maybe whoever gets my basket might not care for that, um, but I'll just go ahead and keep the gold and then give you guys um, the church that's not quite so sparkly, but if you do a pink Christmas, I used to paint those pink all the time, so just a little side note for you guys and I'm pretty sure I just dribbled a lot of gold sparkle into my coffee. <laughs> the next ornament that I thought was really cute was this really pretty, um, it's just a star, but it's more of like a wooden star. And then it has this kind of tin on the front. I thought Dolly Tree did a really nice job with this. It has the pretty little green bell at the bottom. Again, this reminds me a lot of a very country, cozy, Christmas. So what I'm seeing, you guys, is a very country cozy Christmas. Now, I have not been to Hobby Lobby still. I need to pop into Hobby Lobby and see what they're showing. I have been trying to watch some of the Hobby Lobby shop with me's just to see what everybody is showing there. But I'm seeing, again, a lot of buffalo check plaid. Of course, there are going to be some glam deals, but I'm going to pop this into my Christmas giveaway basket. Okay, another really adorable ornament that I think Dollar Tree puts out are their super cute little picture frame holiday ornaments ornaments. Every year when the kiddos were little, I would always dress them up and take a picture of them and put them in one of these little cute ornaments. And I just thought it was such a fun little gift to give the grandparents. So they would always have a keepsake of the kiddos in their Christmas outfits. So I went ahead and grabbed this Santa Claus one and then also this gingerbread one. So I thought this was so fun and fabulous. This is going to be popped in to that fun little giveaway box. <laughs> Another thing to keep your eye out for is the cute little snowy owl. Oh my goodness, I love the snowy owl. I use this every year. They come with the white snowy owl and then this little brown snowy owl. I know I have several left over from last year, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my giveaway box. Another cute ornament that Dollar Tree puts out is the Joy in the Buffalo Check Plaid. I believe they had these last year and these are more on that kind of hard pressed cardboard. It comes already ready to hang and then it has just a little greenery at the top. This has a little bit of sparkle on it, but it's not overly done. I did pick up some of these last year, so I'm gonna pop this one into the Christmas giveaway basket. And I wanna say that I picked up a piece and another one. I'll pop those in there as well. I cannot seem to find them. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's just Christmas stuff everywhere. But if I find it, I'm definitely gonna pop it in there for you guys. So these are super fun and fabulous, especially if you're gonna be going for kind of that home for the holidays look. <laughs> so another ornament that is new to our Dollar Tree is this beautiful ballerina. If you have a little ballerina in your life, you're probably going to want to grab this. I think you could also customize this and maybe add a little name to it. She has a very beautiful little flowy skirt. She's very graceful and she's made in kind of that little delicate um, hard plastic. If it were me, I would add, you know, some pretty little roses and ribbons to the top and just made it super fabulous. I would add roses and ribbons around the waist to it. So beautiful. In fact, I'll probably share a DIY with you guys on that one. So gorgeous. <laughs> The next thing that I finally found at my Dollar Tree was their cute little cups. I went ahead and grabbed the one that says Faith. It has a little buffalo check plaid. Super adorable. I also picked one up for one of you guys. This is going to go into my giveaway box. And then I also found the cute little plate. This one says Family. I thought it would be perfect for like a cookies with Santa type deal. And again, this is going to go into the giveaway box. If you guys can find these awesome 
them. Now I was a little bit late to the party, so this is pretty much all they had left at my store, but I did go ahead and grab one for me and then one for one of you guys. Okay, you guys, if you've been around for a while, you know that I love these little Dollar Tree mini Christmas trees. There are so many fun things that you can do with them, whether or not you make wreaths with them or you take them and put two of them together, but go ahead and grab a couple of them if you have them in your stores. I, my store puts them in the Christmas crafting section. They come in white and they also come in green. I grabbed several of them. I'm going to include one of each color into my Christmas crafting giveaway box. So grab them if you see them. <laughs> okay, you guys, the next thing I went ahead and grabbed was some of the Dollar Tree Christmas ribbon. It comes knife to a roll. This was the only ribbon that my Dollar Tree had out except for the sparkling ribbon, which I shared with you guys on the last Dollar Tree haul. I do not think that this ribbon is wired, but it is fun to make bows with because it does stand up very stiff. So I always, always, always recommend that you guys buy the wired ribbon for your bows. But if you want to have some scrapbooking ribbon and just some ribbon that will kind of go in between some of your bows, this is not a bad option. I didn't buy a whole ton of this, but again, this is good to supplement in for some of your package ribbon. So it's great to wrap around like to do some of your detail work. I am going to include a roll of each into the giveaway. <laughs> okay, you guys, so another goodie that is out there that you may wanna pick up for Christmas crafting are these Ellie D lanterns. Now, I have actually already shared a DIY with you guys on these. I know a lot of you all kind of were looking for these. They are back into stock at my local Dollar Tree. I actually found them at a Dollar Tree out of town. Yes, I do go to multiple Dollar Trees to find things just because I take this very seriously and I try to share with you guys as many DIYs as possible. I found them at my local Dollar Tree in the candle section. So I'm going to pop these in to my giveaway box for one of you guys and um, it says 120 hours. They're an LED lander, but they're going to be super adorable for Christmas crafting. Grab one if you see them. <laughs> Another fun and fabulous goodie to keep your eye out for are the Dollar Tree poinsettias. Okay, you guys, we made a beautiful fall tree and I cannot resist doing a Christmas tree. In fact, one of you all or several of you already have been doing Christmas trees. We're making them with plungers. So believe it or not, a Dollar Tree plunger yes, a plunger that you would use to plunge your toilet, we could make Christmas poinsettia trees. If you've looked on Amazon or anywhere, they're so expensive. Now, I did grab about seven or eight bundles, and the poinsettias that I personally chose are kind of these um, felt-looking ones, and I a little bit, I agonized over which ones I thought would make the beautiful, the most beautiful poinsettia tree. So, it's really the look that you're going for. And I don't even know that this is going to be the most amazing looking one, um, but I just felt like for me, this is the look that I wanted to use. I want it to pop and I want it to be really vibrant um, in my home. So, but you all choose the color that you want. They have multiple colors at Dollar Tree, or you know, you can choose them wherever you want to buy them from. Maybe you want to go a little bit more high end and go to your craft store. But at Dollar Tree, they had gold and they had white. They had um, a darker poinsettia that's more realistic. They had this vibrant red. So here's how they look kind of all grouped together. But I did want to share with you all what I chose in case um, you wanted to choose this, or please, you guys choose whatever is going to be good for you. So I I chose um, this one. I got one, two, three, four, five, six bundles. Let's see. Actually, I got seven. I got eight bundles. I think I'm going to end up using eight bundles for the plunger tree. And then I'm going to use that silver bucket that we used to make the fall tree. So pop back on some of my fall videos if you guys want to see how we did that. It's not going to be hard, but it's going to be very similar. So I've got these. It may not even take all of these. And then the other thing I bought maybe to go in it, and I'm not sure if this is going to look right, but I also bought some of these pine cones. Now, these pine cones I may or may not use. I just don't know. These pine cones I might also use in a different craft. But I feel like Dollar Tree, this is really nice. And actually, here's how they look just like as a single um, branch. But I think it's called a holly bouquet. I think those look really nice. I feel like I'm getting married. I'm kind of more like a winter bride. Anyway, grab some poinsettias if you want to do a poinsettia tree with me. I grabbed several of these uh, holiday bouquet um, 
pine cones. I thought those were really nice to do some crafting with. I also felt like it might be nice to add some sparkle into the poinsettia tree. Again, these are just kind of some ideas. I'm not completely for sure that we're going to use all of these, but I did want to have some different options because I am going to be sharing with you some centerpieces, some lantern florals, and some wreaths. So we have a lot of Christmas crafting to do, and I wanted to have plenty of options. Um, so they have these, I thought these were really nice. They're kind of a smaller poinsettia, I guess, but see how those are really sparkly. I thought they looked really nice kind of up against some of these and mixed in with that more vibrant red. So here's how they look kind of all clustered together. And I think, you know, against maybe a tree even, we'll have to see, you know, it's just what caught, caught my eye. There were so many different choices. Honestly, I got in there and I was like, ah, what do I choose? They had um, different different colors. So they had gold and they had silver. There were so many to choose from. And I know I'm going to go back and probably choose more. I want to share with you guys glam ideas and just all different kinds. But, you know, I felt obnoxious even getting the amount of stuff that I got as it was. So bear with me as we go through the season. I will share with you guys all different kinds of colors and whatnot. But here's what I chose just for this next round of DIYs. And again, I always encourage you guys to grab the colors that you love. So just imagine when I'm sharing the, the different ideas with you guys, use those colors for your decor. Now, another thing that I was really excited and kind of blown away to see were these large, beautiful pine cones. How crazy and nice are these? These are definitely coming on as a pick style. So these are really nice. Now, if you're like me, you're going to probably get the majority of your pine cones out of your yard, but these are already frosted and I do like the fact that they're already on a pick. So, you know, if you're going to be buying these at Hobby Lobby, they're going to be so much more expensive and getting a pine cone onto a pick is a bit of a process. So that's the only hard thing about using pine cones into your decor is they can be a little bit floppy and fall off quite a bit. And so I kind of liked that they were already on there. I think that it's nice. I think spending a couple dollars having them already on your pick is nice. And I like how they're already all nice and glittered. You know, grab the ones out of your yard and do them yourself. I'll probably be sharing with you guys a DIY because I do collect some out of my yard as well. But if you want to cheat and already have some done, go ahead and grab some at Dollar Tree. They're nice and jumbo. And for only a dollar, you can't go wrong. Now, another thing that Dollar Tree does a really nice job at is their jumbo ornaments. Okay, these are really, really, really great for filling out the larger spaces in your tree. And you can really create some beautiful, beautiful ornaments with them. I shared so many DIYs with you guys last year on how to create an oversized jumbo ornament. They make such a huge impact in your tree. So, you know, you add some zhuzh to the top of this and nobody knows that this is a Dollar Tree ornament. They just really make a statement. They're always gonna be so much more at a high-end decor store. And when you add some beautiful ribbons, nobody knows that this is a Dollar Tree ornament. I do like also that they're shatterproof. I mean, as nice as having a big, beautiful glass ornament is, you know, I get kind of crazy when I'm decorating my Christmas trees and having shatterproof ornaments just for me really works a lot better. And I'm not knocking having a big, beautiful, you know, high-end Christmas ornament, but if you're like me and you decorate everything pretty much that moves or that doesn't move, <laughs> you're gonna need some shatterproof ornaments, especially these are great for outside. I will tell you that I am completely covered in glitter, so they do have fallout, but they do come in several different colors, and if you're going for more some traditional, you're gonna be hitting the jackpot here and grabbing a couple of them. <laughs> Another thing I love to grab are their sleeves of ornaments. So they come in, let's see, it's a 12 piece, and they're a really nice size. I grabbed a gold, a silver, a red, and then some of the glam champagne. I used a ton of the glam champagne last year, and I love these. They are such a great size. We're gonna do so many different DIYs. So as you guys can tell, I just wanted to grab so many different colors for you guys so I could just share so many different ideas. So grab them if you see them. They're a great way to fill out your Christmas tree always. And then also you can do so many different DIYs with them. I also really thought these were super cute, especially if you're going to be doing a candy cane 
Christmas tree idea. Again, these are a nice size to fill out your tree. You can jazz them up with some ribbons. And again, I think it's gonna be kind of fun to have some shatterproof ornaments in with some of my nicer high-end ornaments. And especially since we have a new pupper, I have no idea how he is going to react to having a Christmas tree. Hopefully he doesn't tear it up, but we shall see because he is pretty crazy around everything. We may have to get even a little gate to put around it. And then I thought these were cute with like the little swirly dudes around it. Another thing that is super cute for Christmas crafting are the Dollar Tree picks. I picked up a bunch of the candy cane ones and then my store got in these little snowman ones. I grabbed one for me and then one for one of you guys. I think they're really cute. I've actually been breaking apart a lot of these and then using them. So again, that's just another tip that's going to go into my giveaway basket but this is a tip just because it gives you so many more options so for one project you can use the snowman for another project you can use the little tiny team and then for another project you can use this one or if you're doing just where you want to use the whole thing um, but that's just going to give you a lot more bang for your buck another with that. thing that I thought was super neat especially if you're going for a glam look was this beautiful oversized snowflake you guys know what I'm thinking with this giant jewel right here oh my goodness this is gorgeous and look at how pretty this would be on this christmas tree if i went for glam on this i would definitely want to zhuzh that up and go crazy with the snowflake this would also be beautiful hanging from a chandelier i'm almost thinking i should go glam in my dining room and do something in that fashion so i'm probably definitely going to go for a cozy vibe in my um, living room with like the buffalo check and kind of like a Mackenzie Childs, but I may go super glam in my dining room. I just don't know yet. It's gonna be a surprise to all of us, including myself. <laughs> and then speaking of glam, they also had this in the silver. So if you're going for silver, you can do it in either color. I'm gonna pop this into my giveaway basket just in case whoever gets it is a glam girl themselves. <laughs> now here's an ornament that I think is really beautiful that I think holds its own weight is the this beautiful swirly ornament. I think it looks a lot more high end with all of the beautiful swirlies, the beautiful jewels. And then I also think this one is really nice. I think it has a lot of zhuzh factor to it. It's a very glittering and really nice. I picked up several of these because it's still that larger size. It's not quite the jumbo size that I shared with you guys on the other one. Now it does need a little bit of cleaning up because there's gluey on it. You're gonna find that with some of the Dollar Tree ornaments but again, I love it because it is um, that shatterproof ornament. And then the other cute little thing that I thought was fun was this little Santa basket. I did go ahead and pick up one of these because I do want to share with you guys some fun little gift basket. Last but not least, I also grabbed a 12 piece pack of the wired garland ties. Now these aren't super exciting, but they are very useful in crafting, especially with your Christmas crafting to cover up your work. They're already cut pieces. And if you guys have been crafting along with me, you'll notice that I've been having to cut my pieces of garland, which is fine to do. But when you already have the wired pre-cut pieces, they're just going to be amazing. It's going to be quick and easy, and they're just great for covering up your work. So go ahead and grab these if you see them. So that is going to be it for this Dollar Tree haul. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It is such a true blessing and an honor to have you all here. And I want to announce the winner for my 200k giveaway, which is a Cricut plus a $200 shopping spree. It's going to be Billy Jean Plummer. Thank you so much for being here and sharing all of my videos and your kind comments. Inbox me at oliviesromantichome at gmail.com. And also, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of you guys for your love and support. It is so felt. This YouTube channel is just an amazing blessing, I know, to me and to so many others out there. So I want to encourage you guys to continue to share your gift of crafting and decorating. I had no idea that crafting and decorating was actually could be such a gift. I had my um, preacher actually do a sermon where he mentioned that his wife was actually a gifted decorator and that 
that decorating and crafting can actually be a spiritual gift to a certain extent. So I know so many of you guys have that gift. So I just want to encourage you all to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. Everybody has a special gift out there, whether or not you're a teacher or a nurse or, you know, a mama or a grandma or wherever you're at, there is just, everybody has their own special gift. And, you know, maybe you have that gift, but you just love to craft on the side or decorate on the side, making your home a special place or making a wreath for a neighbor or a friend or just creating something lovely for your home or sitting down with your kids or grandkids and making a craft or painting a picture. It's just such a wonderful thing to do. So I just want to encourage you all to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. I know so many of you all comment and just let me know how much it makes, how just the good vibes that it gives you guys to do that and how these videos are helping get you guys through some tough times. So keep up the good work crafting and decorating. Now we have that new giveaway going on my channel with a box of fun Christmas crafting goodies. So make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and comment down below. The new secret question is going to be, when do you start decorating for Christmas? I know everybody starts at a different time. And so when I start is the day after Halloween, the day after Halloween, all of my fall decor goes in the my fall decor boxes and the way i store my seasonal decor is i pop everything into a box and it goes all up into my attic okay it's nothing fancy i promise you guys um and then all of my christmas is going to begin to slowly come out and so that's the way that i store things and that's how i do my christmas decor so everything comes out the day after halloween now it takes me months to actually get everything decorated and how i want it and i share that process with with you guys through my YouTube videos and I start crafting now because I decorate with all of my handmade goodies and so you'll see a kind of the process of how I did my fall decor as I put things out and craft things everything gets processed and decorated as I go along so I hope that just me sharing my love of crafting and decorating and how I decorate my kitchen and my dining room and my living room and outside my house just gives you guys some inspiration ideas for how you guys can decorate your home on a budget and and to know that decorating your home is a gift and it is, you know, a special thing to do, you know, to make your to make your home a lovely little cozy space to come home to and that you guys can do it on a budget. It doesn't have to be, you know, a fancy place. It just can be a cozy little cottage or it can be a fancy place. Which, whatever, wherever you guys are at, just make it special and make it your own. And I know it's going to bless the people that are in your life or, you know, your kids are going to come home and just feel sparkly and magical or your grandkids are going to come home home it's just going to feel sparkly and magical even if it's just a little spot that you've decorated maybe just for you or you know just just you know start and just make something wonderful so i just want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work now the new giveaway will happen it's going to happen on my birthday i'm going to announce the giveaway winner for that but just have fun with that and just keep up the good work crafting and decorating also if you want to connect with a little crafty decor community i have an olivia's romantic home facebook page i post several diy videos a day over there just to keep you guys inspired and going on your crafting journey as well as a little group page where a lot of you all are sharing photos of your home decor and your DIY projects whether or not you're recreating things I've shared with you guys or maybe you're doing your own projects everybody is at a different spot in their crafting and decorating journey and they're doing different things and it's just a really kind community because it's just really important to share nice comments to one another. Everybody's at a different spot in their journey. And so I just love to see what everybody's up to and all the encouragement. And I know some of you guys are even sharing crafting supplies, which is so amazing. So keep up the good work, crafting and decorating and sharing your kind comments. I just love to see that. That's really what this is all about is just to put one foot in front of the other and to have fun crafting and decorating. So I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for being along with this journey and celebrating these fun times. I'm getting so excited for Christmas crafting. Thank you guys for Santa Claus, AKA Mr. Romantic for stopping by and delivering some amazing Christmas crafting goodies and for bringing extra goodies. So I have some stuff to give away for you guys. Oh my goodness. How fun is this going to be? So I love you all to the moon and back. Oh, also I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. Pop over there. I love to say good morning to you every morning with a good morning cup of coffee. I'm a total morning person. I also share a little behind the scenes of Bear the, Bear the Puppy Dog and Tinky the 
cat and my family and my crazy crafting stuff going on because I have a disaster. If you guys could see the other side of this camera, you would be appalled. It's a mess. There's Christmas stuff everywhere. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm going to let you go. Have a fabulous blessed day and I'll talk to you very soon. Stay tuned. Until then, we'll talk to you later.